And a beautiful blue sky without a cloud in sight. We'll take it. It's a nice Thursday afternoon for us. The good news about it tonight, it's going to be even better. Low temperatures into the upper 50s. Somewhat chilly as we start out the day tomorrow morning, though. So keep that in mind as you head out the door. Looking ahead, we'll see another Friday that's going to look great. Really just like what we saw today. High temperatures in the low 50 or low 80s, rather. That would be cold. High temperatures in the low 80s, sunny skies, low humidity. We'll take it, but that warm up does reappear by Saturday on into Sunday, and then we'll see storms back into the forecast, of course, for us. I'll show you more on that here in just a moment, but let's go ahead and get out the window world walk. If you're taking your dog out tomorrow morning, we'll start out with Luffy here, and Luffy is going to enjoy the snow. We're not there yet, but we're heading in that direction with the cooler temperatures into the low 80s tomorrow. 57 degrees, you head out the door again. Might want to grab a, a light jacket into the low to mid 80s through the afternoon. But again, sunny skies expected throughout the day, kind of like what we've seen today. This is the current setup across the lower 48. We see a trough digging into the southern Appalachians. That's why it's a little more active weather here across the eastern seaboard. You head out west four corners region. We see a very a large ridge of high pressure and if the winds go around the north of that down to the southeast, that brings in a northwesterly flow for us. That's why we're seeing the cooler, drier air. Here's the situation, though, as we press this forward, we'll see that ridge begin to flatten down. That provides more of a zonal type flow. That will give us the chance to see some more return moisture actually from the Gulf of Mexico back into the region, providing the chance for some more isolated showers and storms. You'll note the time stamp here Monday afternoon and evening. That's what we expect to see the first really maybe isolated spotty showers, but becoming more possible on Tuesday on into Wednesday and through the rest of the week. Let's go ahead and check out the tropics. We are near the peak of the hurricane season and it's fairly active out there. There's Larry. That is the remnants of Mindy there off the east coast. We'll zoom on in. Larry is going to continue to press off to the north, impacting the Canadian Maritimes, but otherwise not too much activity. Western Caribbean, we're watching this wave axis. We'll move into the Bay of Campeche over the next 48 hours or so. And then likely it could develop into a system before making its way into Mexico over the next five days. This is the next big wave pushing off the west coast of Africa. We expect that to develop fairly quickly into a tropical depression, gain latitude, do something similar to what we saw Larry do, not expected to impact the U.S. mainland. We'll take a look here. 84 degrees for us, near perfection tomorrow afternoon. Sunny skies, but trending warmer as we head through the weekend. Then that chance of rain, as I was talking about, returns Monday, maybe a spotty shower. Tuesday, isolated showers and thunderstorms, about a 3 in 10 chance for any one given location. Great forecast ahead this weekend, though.